Okay, I'm off to do my paper route. Well, Peter, your plan worked to show Chris how horrible drugs are. Quiet, Lois. I'm trying to watch TV. That's one small step. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. The Flash now official. President Kennedy has been killed. God, there's nothing on. Just sit right back and you'll hear it. There we go. Lois, why is my son playing with a vacuum like a girl? Here, play with this discus and javelin. Then you can grow up like a man, like track and field star Bruce Jenner, the greatest man in the world. Maybe you'll even end up on a box of Wheaties. Didn't these used to have nuts in them? Chris, I see in the paper that Vietnam is still going on, and as a blue-collar TV dad, I demand you enlist. Peter, you can't send Chris to Vietnam. They're bombing women and children. You have no idea how bad it is over there. I don't. Oh, I know war, my friend. I stormed the beaches at Normandy. Yeah! Of course, it was 1958, so the resistance wasn't quite as stiff. No running! I said no running! I'm not running! Chris, you are going to Vietnam and doing your duty, like Quagmire did. As a matter of fact, his tour just ended, and his transport should be getting in soon. So let's head down to the airfield and give our soldiers the respect they deserve. Welcome home, Quagmire. Oh, good to see you back safely, Glenn. Murderer! Hey, show some respect! Sorry. Oh, I left my carry-on back on the plane. All right, when he comes back, we gotta make him feel welcome again. Boy, the clam sure looks different. Yeah, just be careful with your collars on the way in. They're kind of sharp. Yeah, we'll have a round of beers for the table. Yep, we got her too. It's good to have you back from the war in one piece, Quagmire. Yeah, some of us weren't so lucky. What are you talking about? You never went to Vietnam. The hell I didn't. I went to the draft board and told them I was gay, and then got hit by a bus on the walk home. <laughs> so, Quagmire, Chris is shipping out tomorrow morning, and he's pretty nervous. I know you enjoy staring like 3,000 feet out into dead space, but you got any good stories I could tell him about how cool Nam is? You know, there's lots of things you expect in war. Carnage, the sleepless nights. But what they don't prepare you for is the incessant use of fortunate sun. I'd hear that song any time I was in a helicopter. Or taking a swift boat deep into the jungle. That song again. My penis would even play Fortunate Son while I was visiting a whorehouse. Oh, Lord, that's horrible. There must have been some other song you heard. Yeah, there was. That There's Something Happening Here song. Hey, I just realized your clothes kind of look like the jungle. Shut up, Joe. You weren't there. You don't know. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. You didn't hear the songs I heard. Oh my god, Chris ships out in the morning. I gotta get him out of there. I thought this war would be fun, you know, just go over there and fight the Donkey Kong. We were trying to fight the war our way, the way we'd always fought wars. But we were gradually climbing steel beams and ladders, and the Donkey Kong knew that. It was barrel after barrel. We lost a lot of good men, and so many quarters. <laughs> <laughs> 